What's going on, YouTube? You listen, Baker May coming at you today, and boy, has it been a while. Boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Okay, so you guys know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a quality video worth anything. But in my defense, I've had a lot going on. I've been attending school for a bachelor's degree in electronic engineering, and that has been a struggle within itself. On top of my normal job that I work and the upgrades that I've recently made to my office, I've been going nonstop, quite literally. So I want to bring something to you guys and show you guys a little bit of something I've been doing. I have done a lot to the office and I've been working on a video on that. I just didn't really like the way it turned out. But the main thing you will notice is that it's kind of noisy in the background. And that's because of this thing right over here. Yeah, right there. That is a 3D printer. I got the JG Aurora 3D printer. Um, it's the smaller one. I wanted something a little bit cheaper to start off with to get into printing. And I went and purchased that thing about a month ago off of GearBest, and it finally came in. I will do a review on it once I learn how to use it. Now, I did do a short print. As you know, these 3D printers come with a uh, what they call the Money Cat or Lucky Cat, whatever you want to call it. And it didn't finish. The, the cat ended up coming up from the build plate, and it cut the head off a little bit. So needless to say, it did not finish this print. But I'm learning how to use it and been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials and things of that nature. So I wanted to bring you guys my first print of something that I hope I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and let's jump on over to Thingiverse.com. Okay, so from here what you want to do is you go to the Thingiverse website. Thingiverse.com, obviously it's real simple. You'll have to make an account in order to be able to download or upload any of your designs. I've been playing around with uh, Fusion 360 and a few other 3D CAD programs, but I'm learning slowly. So, Thingiverse.com. What I'm going to be printing today is a new pistol grip for one of my AR-15s. So the real simple thing you can do is come right here to the search bar, type in AR-15. And the first one right here to the right, this AR-15 Skeleton Grip. Once you get to it, it looks pretty simple. It's just a simple Skeleton Grip. Obviously this here is catted up in a metallic version. It gives a few measurements. I think there was an issue with the original where the hole that goes in was not in the right place. So he added a second one according to if you're going to use it for Airsoft or an actual AR-15. From there it does give the thing of view where you can actually view it in the 3D form. As soon as this loads up it'll show it. Alright so here we go and once in here you can kind of twist it around, look at the different views, zoom in, zoom out, those kind of things. So from down here it gives you your print settings that you'll need, a .20 resolution, 75% infill. This says don't do supports, but I did supports that are touching the build plate simply so I can get better adhesion. From here you go to thing files. I downloaded the 1.5 being that it's the latest version and it has more downloads. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I'll figure out once it finishes printing. So I've already downloaded these files. I'm not going to go there and uh, do all that. But from there, let's jump over to the Slicer program. I'm using Cura, so we'll go ahead and go into that. So from here, I've already actually got it pulled up, and I've centered it on the build platform and lowered it down to the bottom of the build platform. Once again, it's not a tutorial, but everywhere that's red is where it suggests the end fields to go. Um, if you come over here to my settings, your quality layer height, which is 0.20, I left the wall thickness, top and bottom thickness the same. I did change the infill density to 75. Printing temperature 230, that's what my 3D printer recommends. Uh, the diameter is the diameter filament that I'm using. 
I left the print speed, travel speed the same. The only other thing I've changed right here is generate support. I checked yes and I selected the touching build plate. The problem is, is if you do it touching everywhere, inside of all these holes here is going to be support material, which is going to make a lot to clean out. And where it becomes really troublesome is it'll come in this hole right here and these holes. And I believe that my printer has good enough abilities to be able to print those overhangs without any support. Okay, so I've got a camera set up back here that's doing a time lapse. I'm going to go ahead and jump into that time lapse. In the meantime, I'm going to go to sleep because this build takes three and a half hours and that's what Cura lines it up as. I've noticed that whenever printing this 3D cat here, it did take a little bit longer than what Cura said it was going to go. Or at least it was on the route to it. It didn't finish, so, you know, that's that. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump over to the time lapse and let's watch it as it builds. Okay guys, so here it is next morning and I do believe I had a pretty successful print. In the end, I was left with this beautiful little pistol grip right here. Now for my first 3D printed part for a firearm, it is not that bad. I did have some stringing. Cleaning off the drooping material there, the bridging material, is a lot easier than cleaning off support material. So that's why I figured I'd do it that way. Uh, I was hoping that it didn't droop there in that little bridge, but it did, so it wasn't that huge of a deal. Everything seems to fit fine. I am noticing one little issue right here at the back. It just not quite lining up 100%. It's going to get me a file, an actual file to get in there and do that with and alter that. And I think once I get that done, everything will fit in perfect and we will have a good setup here. Now... Okay, so what I plan on doing is this entire build, everything that I possibly can will be 3D printed. The uh, lower here is polymer with the aluminum inserts. I'm gonna get the same brand name upper. It also is polymer with the aluminum inserts. And it's 22LR, so it's, I'm not really that worried about it. I've seen many different designs from everything from the pins that go in here to the actual safety selector being 3D printed, magazine release being 3D printed, the actual magazine, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to try to build this entire rifle over the course of the next year through solely 3D printed part. Well, not solely. You can't print everything, but as many parts as I can will be 3D printed. Anyways, if you want to keep up with this build, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got some more projects I'm working on back there in the background. You'll find out what those are soon enough. So make sure you like this video. Comment if you have any ideas of things that you want me to uh, try to 3D print. And subscribe, like, comment. I covered all that. Yep. All right, guys. Peace out.